Today we will discuss second language acquisition. Second language acquisition or SLA has two meanings. In a general term, basically this term refers to describe the learning process of or acquiring of second language. More specifically, it is the name of the theory. Now, so you see that first of all, it is a term that refers to the understanding of how second language is acquired. And secondly, basically it's a theory, theory which tells us about the processes that are involved through which an individual acquires or pick up second language. Though scholars use language learning and language acquisition interchangeably, but they both are different terms and they differ in terms of their context and in terms of their use. Now, when we talk about language learning, it's a very formal process through which formal rules are learned. Uh, language acquisition, if you look at it, is basically a natural process through which a child acquires a language that he or she is exposed to. But when we are talking about second language acquisition, that is a process where when you are learning new set of or second language grammatical structure, it requires specific learning it requires specific process for non-native speakers to acquire a second language. We will now look at some of the points which need to be understood as far as second language acquisition are concerned. The first is boundaries of child second language acquisition are somewhat arbitrary. Now at one end the term excludes those children we have just in terms of language acquisition when we are talking about first language acquisition that how they acquire it we when we look at the second basically we have to take into account the children who acquiring two or more languages simultaneously the reason for basically the understanding of second language is that it is generally agreed that child second language acquisition extends from about five to nine years or after the primary language is essentially acquired but before any possible effects related to critical period. The concept of language transfer is the central theme in second language acquisition. Now the central theme in second language research is that of interlanguage interlanguage. The idea that the language that learners use is not simply the result of differences between the languages, but it is a complete language system in its own right. Languages that learners already know can have a significant influence on the process of learning a new language. This influence is known as language transfer. The primary factor driving SLA appears to be the language input that learners receive. Learners become more advanced the longer they are immersed in the language they are learning and the more time they spend doing free voluntary reading. The input hypothesis developed by linguist Stephen Creshaw makes a distinction between language acquisition and language learning. According to him, acquisition is a subconscious process, whereas learning is a conscious one. According to this hypothesis, the acquisition process in second language is the same as first language acquisition. The learning process is consciously learning and inputting the language being learned. However, this goes as far as to state that input is all that is required for acquisition. Then we have the cognitive approaches to second language research, which deals with the processes in brain that underpin language acquisition. So you have the processes which are cognitive based or cognition based, which also determine that how these processes take place in the mind. Then we have sociocultural approach. That rejects the notion that second language is a purely psychological phenomenon and attempt to explain it in a social 
context. It believes that it is not something which primarily and purely deals with the psychology or the cognitive aspects, but rather we have it take have to take into account the social context in which the language or the second language is used. Then we have critical period hypothesis, which states that individuals lose the ability to fully learn a language after a particular age in childhood. Individuals may lose a language through a process called second language attrition. Now this process is called second language attrition. Second language attrition is the decline of second language skills which occurs whenever the learner uses the second language to an insufficient degree or due to environmental changes, the language use is limited and in other languages becoming the dominant one. To conclude, the term acquisition was originally used to emphasize the non-conscious nature of learning process, but in recent years, learning and acquisition have become largely synonymous and SLA refers to what learners do in acquiring second language.